When I was a child and in school, I could only dream of having access to a global database of information. Uh, we were lucky enough to have a computer or access to that computer. And even if we did have access to the computer, we really couldn't do much with it because the internet, as far as we were concerned, didn't exist. It wasn't really there. Uh, certainly not the internet that we know and love today. Uh, we didn't have mobile phones. We didn't have uh, an easy ability to communicate with one another other than uh, passing notes. Uh, but I don't know if you, uh, you know, are in school. Maybe you know someone in school. Uh, you know, if you've got classes, and I don't care if you're uh, someone who's young, someone who's old, uh, you know, you're never too old to go to school. Uh, we've got five tech tips for you to help you study. And we've linked the full list in the uh, video's description below, as you can see, the link to LockerGnome.com where we post all of our stories. Uh, one, using social media to your advantage. And this isn't just, hey, I need help solving this problem. It's really reaching out and learning more about the people you're connected to so that when you do run into a problem that you can't resolve on your own you have a better idea about who you can turn to uh, for potential on not necessarily ongoing support because you wouldn't rely on somebody else or at least i'd hope not rely on somebody else to help you pass a class uh, you could certainly uh make your friendship bonds a bit stronger connecting with them over twitter facebook google plus or possibly even uh, youtube as well there are so many apps that can help we've already posted a handful of uh, our top educational apps uh, for iOS, and I believe Android uh, is coming down the pike for that uh, because certainly having apps, uh, you know, right there can help. Yes, you can go online, you can search for information and, and, and get a result, but sometimes having a dedicated app that's related to the actual coursework uh, can help you get to those answers in a quicker fashion. And, you know, like I said, if it were if it were me and I was doing this again, uh, with every class that I took, I would arm myself with as much as I possibly could, and certainly, you know, using uh, social media or specific applications to help uh, could get the get the job done. Uh, there are also cloud-based study tools that you could use. Uh, it's not just you who's going through a class; you may have classmates. Um, you know, you may need to work on a project together. Well, instead of let's say passing uh, a Word document back and forth or an Excel spreadsheet. You know, you're used to this desktop uh, software paradigm. Uh, think about using cloud based tools like Google Docs to collaborate, or possibly even Google Calendar to coordinate schedules uh, to let people know, you know, where. Uh, you're going to be or what a, a good time uh, to have a study session uh, with them might be. Uh, these tools are right there and in many ways uh, they don't cost anything other than time and if you're not using them for uh, your schoolwork you're you're missing out. Uh, there's a lot to be taken advantage of and maybe your classmates or your friends don't realize that these tools are available. It's not just for fun stuff, really. Uh, this is for getting work done, not just like work work, but school work. And then of course, I think for uh, you know extending your education and learning more about a particular topic, two resources that I wish I had at my disposal, iTunes U uh, and Khan Academy. Yes, I could watch this stuff now and, and, I, and I might, uh, but I, 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 I can't help but think that if I had access to Khan Academy when I was having problems with math in grade school, I would have had fewer problems. Uh, the way that uh, he approached uh, the topics uh, is very targeted and a lot less boring than the teacher that I had. Um, I did, I, I remember in a biology class when I was in the, the 10th grade, sophomore in high school, um, I was struggling trying to figure out DNA and not I mean, studying DNA. I mean, we were going through that that course, and the teacher had uh, software for the an Apple II. Uh, it was so old, it's so old. Uh, but you know the way the the way it laid things out was just more dynamic, and I was much more interested in learning because it was on a, comp it was on a computer screen rather than in this printed volume. Uh, and because of that software, and because of the quizzes, and because of the dynamic uh, interactive nature. Uh, I, I got an A. I, I, I almost I believe I aced that part of the course, and I I really truly believe it was because the technology was there. It brought the subjects to life. So if you're having problems with one particular subject in school, just understand the technology that you have could help make it easier for you. I know what it did for me in a very, very limited basis because I didn't have the type of technology that we have today when I was going through school. I wish we would have because I have a feeling I would have done a hell of a lot better. So I'm just telling you, students today, 
take advantage of technology. We have more suggestions in the article linked in the video's description.